Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Paul Samra, and I'm joined by our Romford office partner, Karen Wardell. Karen, assuming we end up with a no deal at the end of the year, what changes will importers see from 2021? Well, the process for importing goods from the EU27 will change from the 1st of January. To continue importing from EU countries, businesses will need to make customs declarations. These rules currently apply to importing goods from the rest of the world. You can make the declarations yourself to, or engage someone else such as courier, freight forwarder or a customs agent. HMRC has launched a customs grant scheme. Customs intermediaries, including customs brokers and freight forwarders, as well as traders who complete their own declarations, are among those who can now apply for grant funding. So how much is available and, and what does the grant funding cover? So the grant can cover salary costs for new or redeployed staff, up to a limit of £12,000 per person and £3,000 for recruitment costs for new employees. So this will help to recruit new staff and train them up ahead of next July, when all traders moving goods will have to make the declarations. The grant scheme will also offer support for training costs to upskill staff and for IT that improves efficiency. And what other matters should importers be aware of? Yeah, it, each importer needs to have a EORI number so an economic operator registration identification number it's a straightforward process to obtain the number from hmrc but you should ensure you have one as soon as possible if a trade deal cannot be agreed with the eu then the uk will have to it will be implementing tariffs from the first of january this means you will need to pay customs duties or tariffs and vat on all imports and finally check what import licenses or certificates you need, check the labelling and marketing standards for food, plant seed and manufactured goods, check the rules for importing alcohol, tobacco and certain oils. A lot of pre-planning that needing to be done. Indeed, thank you, Karen. Uh, whatever a business's restructuring needs, a more Kingston Smith can readily assist at low local country level. Uh, Forward-thinking businesses are strategically evaluating their level of readiness for a no trade deal. And we have developed an analysis tool, we call it the BX360, that provides a detailed breakdown of the actions needed in the post-Brexit era. It dissects customs and tariffs, finance and taxation, legal aspects and contracts, and people implications to help businesses prioritize their actions. Please do explore our Brexit Hub on our website for the latest guidance on what to do and how more Kingston Smith can help. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for watching and stay safe.